about insulators. Here's my insulator. It'll be mounted on my uh, backbone, whatever it's made of. And uh, we have the element mount here and uh, the phase line that fits on there. Now, what I've seen a lot of people do, and it's a big mistake, is there's a specification in the antenna specs how much space you need between here and here. Two inches, two and a half inches, some specify four inches, six inches. That is important. There's an electromagnetic field running along this phase line. This is your signal going up and down, up and down, coming in, going up and down, back and forth. It's doing that a lot. If you don't have correct separation here, you get electromagnetism jumping between. If it's too close, they jump. And I've seen guys who use big bolts. Oh, jeez, one guy was using small lag bolts. To, and the head is an inch and a half. It's bigger than the insulator. And it, there's, there's no room. So your, your electromagnetism is jumping from here to there to there, you know, and it's, it's shorting out your antenna. You put it up, it works, but it doesn't work well. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Must be the trees. No, it's not. I always embed the attachment so it's below. And uh, that way you can't get a short between these two poles. It's actually poles. And uh, your, your antenna will be, this side is isolated. There's a crossover, yes. But you're isolating and uh, keeping one from touching the other because it will ground out. And then you, you get an interference because it doesn't do it all the time. And it's like, what's making me crazy here? Good luck.